looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Coins, look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Reserve. Head over to MuttReserve.com. Use code Poodle at checkout for 30% off your order. Take advantage, guys. Do not waste your money on packs. Skip the packs. Head on over. Pick up some coins. Enjoy. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we're going to be going over all the promos in Madden that I believe need to be returning this year in Madden 21, guys. Now, over the years since Madden 13, we've had some of the best promos I've ever been a part of, right? As we've gotten later in the Madden sequence towards the, you know, the 19s, 20s, 21s, they've stripped away some of the more fun promos. Now, Madden has kind of taken that approach in the recent years where they just do bigger promos instead of, mo like, more quantity, but back in the day, it's not like the promos were lacking quality, right? Yes, they do. What they focus more on now is, like, storytelling, like, for Christmas, telling us a story. But at the end of the day, guys, there's some of the best, some of the more fun promos, like, some of the more interesting, explosive promos were during the summer months until Madden was more dead, which is why Madden used to be so banger back in the day, even in a late time. Like I said, we've got some of the more fun promos later in the year, although they just don't do them anymore because they typically tend to drop off the game post uh, March, you know, April. They tend to drop off there and kind of just go on forward. Focus on the next game, which for this case would be Madden 22. Now, I feel like they should really dedicate a side team just to post game content and not like a small, like that they currently do, like a little team, like get another team that works primarily at full time for Madden still because that could, it's kind of like YouTube, right? You can't just post for three months, do well, and then just not post for nine months and come back in your prime months. Your channel's not going to do well. Kind of similar to Madden. By them letting the game die off March through, you know, April, August, you know, July, June, all those months where it just kind of dies off, you lose a lot of people who may not come back. That's why I think these promos should be coming back. Now, some of these promos have came back. I just hope they continue them because you know how Madden is. We can get one good year and then just dip off again. But... Moving on from that, guys, let's get into the promos that I think should return. Now, I'm going to head on over to the um, the other screen, show you guys all that. Let's go check that out. Guys, okay, so the first promo is going to be the golden ticket promo now. We had lost it. It came back last year, guys. There's no promises that it'll be back this year, and that is why it's part of this list. Golden tickets is, of course, one of the more fun promos you can ever have in a game. And of course, it's custom created cards. Like, not many games let you, you know, custom create a card for the whole community, right? Not for just yourself, like... Imagine if Call of Duty gave away golden tickets, you were able to create a map or like a gun or a character skin and like everyone could buy it and it was just super cool and limited, but not everyone could have it, right? You, everyone could buy it if gotten the opportunity to, but it's hard. Now that I think that, that, that in itself is just cool. Now last year we had Calvin Johnson, Zach Gentry, Julio, Zone, uh, Julio, Hones, Julio Jones, Mike Evans, Reggie White, Josh Allen, Taylor Mays, Trey Edmonds, Lamar Jackson, Brian Burns, Muhammad Sanu Sr., Adrian Peterson, Keith Bullock, Jalen Ramsey, Troy Palomalu, Cam Newton, Kelvin Benjamin, Michael Vick, Dawkins, Anthony Barr, and finally, we have Quincy Nguyen, Cravon LeBlanc, RG3, and Bo Jackson. Now, there was quite a few. Personally, I wasn't a fan of all the cards last year, but you know what? It's not exactly their fault. There wasn't, there wasn't many unique new guys. Now, this year in Madden, guys, Golden Ticket could go crazy because we've gotten a lot of new guys. Let's just say, for instance, like we got Joe Namath. Like, that's a new guy that, not that I want a Golden Ticket of him, but it's a, new, it's a new legend. We know we got Derek Thomas in the game. We got Jim Thorpe. We got all these guys. I haven't been there prior. So like, there's so much more opportunity to get a banger golden ticket season. You know, we got Tim Tebow back in the game. So you, we already know, guys, if golden, tick, golden tickets come out, there's a high likelihood we see a Tim Tebow golden ticket. Now, all in all, that's what I'm saying. Like, this could be a banger year for golden tickets. So I really hope we do end up getting this back in the game. I imagine that we do. I don't think they drop that. It's probably a heavy money maker too, considering a lot of people do partake in golden tickets. Now, let's move on to the next promo that we got on the, on the uh, list here, which is over on the next screen, Positional Heroes. Now, there is the reveal. We did see the animation for it. It doesn't mean it's guaranteed to come back. This has happened in the past before, so we kind of know the deal with this, but we do anticipate that Positional Heroes will be back. Hopefully, or we hope for it. A few years ago, guys, this was Madden 19, so this was uh, not 21, which is this year, not 20, 19, which is technically two years ago, but three Maddens ago. Uh, we had Michael Thomas, T.Y. Hilton, Kyle Juszczyk, no, Nick Chubb, Russell Wilson, Andy Lee, Jamal Adams, Eddie Jackson, Ramsey, so on and so forth. Now, this promo was banger as well. Look at Ramsey. Powered up and chemed up. He would have had 99 speed, 99 man, 99 zone, 99 press, 99 play rec, 99 excel. Six foot two, guys. Super physical. That car, would have been, that car was crazy. Will still be crazy in this game. Now, if you don't know what positional heroes is, guys, it's kind of similar to Team of the Year, but for positions, right? So for Team of the Year, you got players in real, like, that played well in real life. Positional here is going to be pretty much the best players at each position that don't have an upgrade yet. Kind of like Team of the Year Part 2, right? If you really want to think about it like that. So pretty much, let's say uh, we, we, we go to quarterback. 
All the quarterbacks have an upgrade. The only one that doesn't have a top tier upgrade was Russell Wilson, which isn't true. But it was Russell Wilson, so he gets the positional hero. It's not, or Lamar. In this case, it's probably Lamar. Lamar probably has the lowest of the Wilson, Mahomes, uh, Watson trio. So Lamar Jackson, or, oh, well, it wasn't really a trio, but you know what I mean. Uh, Lamar Jackson would probably get the upgrade here, positional heroes. It doesn't go by the best player at the position. Typically, it goes by the player, the best player that still needs an upgrade. So again, if there's Jalen Ramsey, Tredavious White, and let's just say Pat Pete, and uh, Jalen Ramsey hasn't had a card in a while, it'd be Ramsey if it was, you know, again, don't take what I'm saying literally, but that's the point. Positional hero, super cool. Let's move on to the next promo because we do have a few. Next, we got the program stars. Now, this was a super cool promo back in Madden 19. Pretty much, guys, this was team of the year for programs, so promos. So it went through every promo in the year and pretty much got a player that was a standout. So you guys know, like, back in, uh, Back in Madden 20 or early this year, back in the beginning of the year, who were the studs at the beginning of the year? Lamar Jackson, superstar MVP Lamar Jackson, stud quarterback. So right here we get a 99 super. We get a 99 Lamar Jackson. It would say Lamar Jackson was a uh, was a star released as part of the superstar MVP promo. So pretty much it would find all the best players, all the meta glitchy players from each promo that we all like, or you know they deem as the best players, and they would give us a reboot of them as a 99 overall program star. So George Kittle was a part of the team of the year promo. Julio Jones was a team MVP. Jack Tatum was Super Bowl. Champ Bailey was Ghost of Madden. Alan Page was Legends. So I think that's super cool, guys. So we could see like a, you know, Ronnie Lott Legends. Uh, for Ghost of Madden, we could see maybe a, a reboot of um, the Bo Jackson or the Patrick Mahomes run those cards. There's just so much potential. Mud Heroes, uh, Mitchell Schwartz was NFL Playoffs. Leonard Fournette was Zero Chill. And it keeps going on and on, guys. There wasn't too many, you know, but there was. I think that's so cool. Like, so it would be the Ultimate Legend guy. It would be the team of the year. It would be the, let's just say, um, Halloween promo, the Thanksgiving promo, Superstar MVP. This promo has so much potential, so much fun. And look at these cards. Julio Jones is a beast. I guess it's Mad 19, so stats were a little bit different back then. George Kittle has a 95 speed. would have been 96 powered up. Uh, let's see who else was it? probably beast. Champ Bailey has all 99 man, 99 zone, 99 play rec. Um, even Jimmy Graham has a 90 speed, which again, this car actually wasn't that great. Leonard Fournette, 97 speed. Leonard Fournette with 99 trucking. That's an insane running back. That would be game game breaking right now. Next on the list, we have Team MVP. The promo that I think we won't be seeing this year, although if it would have dropped, it would have dropped by now. That's essentially Team Standouts. The last drop is where Team MVP should have been. So there's still hope that Team MVP does come, but Kralo pretty much said that was the end of Standouts. So I hope that means we're leading up to MVPs. Pretty much Team MVPs, again, similar to Positional Heroes. Going to be one player that performed well for each team. Now, this is a little bit different because Positional Heroes and Team of the Year typically give you the best players in the league. Now, Positional hero Team MVPs have to pick per team. So it would be the Team MVP of the Giants, the Lions, the Jets, the Jaguars, the Packers, so on and so forth. So again, this would be the time for a lot of themes. This is where a lot of theme teams get upgraded. Because remember, there's going to be multiple pages. There's going to be lower end players, uh, higher end players. Typically, they do drop a few uh, like set players. Let's see if I'm staying corrected on that one. Now, if, okay, I guess I'm wrong. I thought there was, oh no, there was, there was. It just wasn't called Team MVPs. There was something else that dropped below it. So that's pretty much a great, uh, for most, for meta teams, you could probably find a player or two in here that could be used. And then again, for um, theme teams, you're, you're in luck. This is gonna be where you get your, your stud player, your captain of your team. Team MVPs are super cool. You know, we got Nate Soldier, DeForest Buckner, DeMonte Kazi, uh, Juwan James, David Johnson, Mike Evans. Now, there wasn't too many glitchy ones here, of course. You know, again, when you drop this many players, you can't make them all that glitchy because if you do, you probably break the game. But I do know there was a Saquon Barkley in here that was pretty insane. I'm pretty sure. Could be wrong. Oh, and there was a few Team MVPs. There was an offensive and a defensive one per team. Uh, maybe there wasn't a Saquon in here. And then lastly, guys, overall, guys, these are the team MVPs. Again, super fun. There's not many other promos that I could think of off the top of my head that I really, really wanted. If I had to rank them, my favorite one from least to greatest. Least to greatest would probably be, let's see, I'm going to go with least being team MVPs, second least being positional heroes, third least being program stars, and then well, best being golden tickets. But uh, second best program stars. Program stars, honestly, I kind of even like more than golden tickets because they'd probably be more affordable. Uh, this, this was kind of like... Oh, there's one other promo, by the way. Superlative promo. That's another cool promo I'd love to see back. If you guys don't know what that was, just like high school superlatives, you know, most likely to succeed, most likely to make you laugh. Same thing with the NFL is like most likely to make a one-handed catch. Odell Beckham Jr., most likely to juke out the first person, most likely to uh, have the best hair, most likely to do this. Like, there's so many cool superlatives. Another program I'd like to see back, but I pretty much wraps it up, guys. That's all the promos that I do want to see back in Madden. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you are into the channel, give this video a big thumbs up. 
like the video always subscribe guys subscribing liking and commenting always helps the channel out to keep that up and if you guys do need coins to pick up any players head over to my reserve down below and use code poodle thank you so much for watching i'm out peace